Hey everybody, Nick Blazer here with another round of the WBIF Individual World Championship, round three. I'm 2-0, and playing against Jurgen Shetler. Um, so I just got to get the invite going and we're going to play here. Things are going well so far. Thank you for watching these if you've seen them already, you know, and should have a whole bunch more to come. One in my first round of the Slavia Open. I think I am playing another Stream Champs match this weekend, so... Yeah, we got another round of this, I think, scheduled for next week on a weekday, maybe, and then I don't know when I'll play the last fifth one. I feel like I've been playing okay, despite my lack of study and practice. Happy with that. I think I played like a five and a half in the last one and like a three and a half in the first one, something like that. I don't know. Okay, he just splits. I better split. I think splitting into it's okay, even with nine in the zone. I think it's just very good to split past this point. He'll be attacking me a lot of the time, but we have equal boards for now. That hurts. It's not a lot better to not be split against this. Um, but okay, he has a big advantage, but he hasn't moved his back checkers at all. I don't want to play this. It's only nine in the zone, but I mean, he's got a way better board lead in the race. Race position, threats, what are threats? Anchors, brings another checker in the zone. I don't know. Isn't he just crushing me? I'm just going to let this go. I think I've been on the pass early side lately, which I'm okay with, because historically I'm always a little too optimistic and try to play those out for the wins, even when there's a ton of gammons. Uh, three, two, gets the follow-up, just making the bar point. After he rolls those double fives, I don't really want to split anytime soon, I don't think, even in this position. What do I do here? I think I have to make the five. That's probably first, though. And then, yeah, why would I unblock the... This looks great. One, six, and three, four. Okay, so I've got great priming potential now. Hey, not so much. I feel like I have a pretty clear advantage in this game. I don't think it's enough to send a cube. But I feel like a significant favorite. I have better timing and the better prime. A little bit of everything, and he's just hasn't been able to split yet. I will just comfortably make the four point or play for my mid, whatever. If he leaves me a shot too, do I have a cube? I think it leaves a similar situation either way. He's just got kind of nothing on the front. And my threats are not so strong quite yet, though. I don't know. If he leaves a shot, I guess maybe I do have to send it. Fours and sixes and a one. Fours and sixes are so huge. Yeah. Maybe I could still have a cube there, but I don't think I'm under any pressure to split. I think I'm just carrying on with my game, and I'm willing to trade a couple of fly shots for some building potential here. 5-2 is the wrong one. There goes his midpoint, I think. And so, yeah, without the point filled in and the threat of, well, the 5 prime's pretty bad. I don't know. I'm still not feeling it here. Because even when I do this, he can improve or something like that. And when he doesn't, then it's not so bad to cash this. Ooh, splitting is pretty big. Maybe he does need to do that, though. I don't know. But yeah, I still have work to do to escape and all these things. So I don't know. It should feel like there's counterplay. It's actually, I mean, if I'm on the other side of this, this starts to feel all difficult to pass. Uh, which maybe it is still. I don't really know. But but it's one of these where, like, when it's positional or priming-based here, it's harder for me to see the pass side, actually. Like, how bad positions can be. How bad it is to be, like, overrun and things like that. I think it's probably a good pass on his part. 12 away, 12 away. Beautiful shot, and no entry. This feels like it's got to be a cube, right? Get the better board, the race, one in the air. Let's send it, just in case I make a four-point board. Fives. What am I doing with that? I can escape one. I think that's right to do even after I've sent the cube. And then do I want to hit on the ace? I don't think so. Good, though. I've got enough in the zone now. Now it starts to feel like I should. Yeah, let's go ahead. Got all this material. Mm, I don't know what to do with this. 
Could hit and continue. I could take him off either of these points. That just seems like unnecessary though. I don't think I need to keep attacking here. I can just let him play. Hmm. Seems like too much to hit loose and give him fours and ones to hit twos to anchor. Yeah, so let's just play like this. I don't know. Try to get out of here. Ouch. You pointed on. Okay. Six four, what can he do? He can escape one in a losing race. Maybe it's better to just bring two down for that reason. Um but yeah, it's starting to get where I'm just hoping to still get lucky enough to have a, a game where I can hop in and run away with my racing lead. So I've entered fast enough to still have a chance to do that. I think I want to cover so I can attack. I might have a plan of blitzing to escape to buy myself time to uh, escape the prime. Six two or sorry, sixes are probably going to want to run more than they're going to want to attack. But either way, uh, now they'll they'll be running for sure. Do I want to slot it right now when I might be running? I think so. It gives me something to do when I don't escape. Still ahead, nine pips in the race. I can just pop out. I think this is looking okay for me, but he's probably the favorite since I'm like an underdog every time to escape. He might attack me off the edge, all these kinds of things. Even when I do run with the six, I don't always get the safety and get to like capitalize on that racing lead. Yeah, now that he's got threats to attack off the edge, it just, I don't know. I think i think he can probably reasonably be sending a recube. I think I can still take it, though, because I still have a racing lead. I can still roll a 6 to escape. I can still hit when he hits off the edge. If he rolls a 5-3, I'm dead, but yeah. And if it happens fast, I can lose a gamut here, but I'm moving good freight, and maybe you should be able to get off that a lot of the time. I think he's got the right idea there, but... So it makes it feel takeable. I mean, the thing is, once I if I do hit the three, once I hit the three, obviously going to. <laughs> like, I still have work to do to escape this. Fours are kind of duplicated. Does that mean I should stay there and try to make the better point and just lift the blot? Sure, just in case things get ugly. All right. Let's go ahead and send another one back. Fantastic. Do I want to switch two, three? Oh, I can cover the four. Yeah, I better do that instead of dealing with that other blot. Let him make the two point. And wow. I mean, he has to pass this if I send it, right? Feels like he can lose a ton of gammons. I can just escape and win a race. Is it too good? If he rolls a two, what am I doing? I think it's too good. I don't know. I'm going to try attacking. And this should sort of clearly be too good now. Okay, things are going well. <laughs> oh, man. I must seem like a really lucky player to y'all. Probably because I am. 6-2, uh, okay. Yeah, 8 points is likely to take me to 2 away, 10 away already. This could be a fast match. I guess I could have thought harder about clearing from the rear there. I don't really need to do anything aggressive to win a gammon here. I just need to not get hit. But I could win a backgammon for the match if he dances long enough. So let's think about that. <laughs> that would be brutal for him. Okay, this feels like a gammon lock. Two away, 12 away. Is that what I'm... No, I'm going to be at four away, 12 away. Sorry. Bad math. It's still pretty good. Still pretty good position. Still going to have a very hard time sending a cube anytime soon. But it can take a long time to, to make four points happen. Okay, he's split. I think I just split as well. But I don't like being... I don't like having a checker in the outfield as much when he's split like this. It's too many shots that I'm giving up. Um, feels a little stiff to play to the eight, though I know that's an option. That might be the best one here. I could see two up being a really strong candidate here, too. I think I'm going to try the two up version. It didn't work. But it didn't not work, either. <laughs> I should get a double shot, I guess. Oh, I think... 
Making the five feels worth it here, but maybe. Maybe he doesn't need to leave the shots. He can just be ahead in the race. I don't know. Uh, okay, so actually the two down is fewer shots than it was before now because I think it's only 6-2 and 4-4. Four, four. It's just one less. So I think you like it a little more in this position. So I'm tempted to make the 23 and play down. What else would I do? I could hit loose with the worst point. I don't know. I'm just going to do that. I got an anchor now too, so I don't mind getting hit with a fly shot as much. Down the race, all these things. It's so weird, like, I mean, that's how I learned it. I guess the twos gets there. Twos and fours are both such good rolls otherwise, though, so they're kind of duplicated, too. It doesn't seem like it would be that big of a difference, but maybe it's not. Maybe I just learned wrong. Maybe it just happened to know the right play. Okay, I think I'm going to take a tempo away and hit high here. I could hit twice, but I don't want to give up the point. Early enough in the opening that I think I can do this, even though I'm slightly outboarded. It's only two-point board for now. This is a little tricky. Really want to make the five point, but it kind of sucks giving up the eight point with its direct 608 contact with its priming value there. Um, yeah, what else do you have? This is so like front loaded too. I guess I'm just never touching the 23 and then he can use two of them if he's lucky to make the four or one of them. The other ones are going to be kind of dead, you know? So I understand the hesitation. I'm not sure I see anything better. 6-2. Two. The two must have to cover, right? I'm just, like, not sure what I want to do with the six. Maybe I just slot and give him a reason to escape. Yeah, I don't want to start burying checkers behind. There's a little bit of duplication with some twos that can... Okay, that's a very good roll for that. So only one dead ends up. But I'm glad I slotted because I end up with some counterplay. I've got a worse anchor, but maybe enough timing to deal with this. Let's see. Ooh, I think I do this. Sure, if he rolls a one, I'm sad, but, oh, does he want to give me the same one to have a five prime? He does. Okay. What am I hoping for now? A whole bunch of stuff. I don't think I can ever have a cube here. I decided already that I can't have a cube, right? Okay, let's just not get hit. Um, maybe I'll get hit on 6-2, just to have a little bit of distribution. I'm not sure that's actually worth it, though. What do we have going on here? All right, I don't escape. I get to clean up the blot, though. Let's see. So who does have the better timing now? He's going to crack first, right? I think that's true. I'm going to run. He can, can't really attack with that roll that well. I guess he makes the ace and switches. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good in this game, but he still has a path to victory. So if I just enter and pop out, I'm doing great. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have to leave a shot. I probably would have there. Maybe I just want to save pips in the outfield. 6-3 is duplicated. Yeah, let's do like that then. I don't know. What on earth is this if he sends this cube? I don't. I would not have known what to do. There's a bunch of gammons. He's probably... Is he even the favorite? I don't know. All right. Uh, this is survivable for sure. Not many gammons here. Oh, but he wins the roll. And so I'll probably end up being able to just cash this. I don't think I have... If I don't hit the fly shot with an eight, um, I don't think I have enough wins to continue this. 30 pips is too much. I don't think there's enough gammons to play on too good. Oh, interesting. Maybe I should have just covered the ace in case he played on and I got a shot. I didn't anticipate that. Not sure why he's not cubing me here. 
I really don't think it can possibly be too good here. He could roll a 6-3 or 6s, though, or something that leaves a shot. Probably just forgot about the cube? I don't know. I do like clearing to take away that 6-3 shot the best. And... Hmm. I don't really need to make the ace. Just save the pips. All right, he goes for the pick and pass, so eight pips outside. I can lose some gammons. It's like 10% with a pure closeout, so that's going to save almost all of them. I'm looking for the 6-2. Maybe there were some gammons there. Maybe I underestimated, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give him one point here for sure. Four-way, 11-way. 5-2. I think even at the score, I probably still want to do this. I'm not 100% certain of that, though. And what do we have here? 6-4 with the blot behind, doing well in the race. The score, I mean, it seems quite reasonable to just make the anchor. But of course, hitting would give me a clear advantage in the race. Let's look at this for a second. Aces and twos hit its lot, a lot of them anchor. Feels like a clear advantage there. And so what do I have if I do this? He still needs to escape to be like 50-50. So I feel like I still have some advantage. I don't know. This usually isn't the right idea. Uh, hmm. Yeah, with the checker on the ace, maybe I'll prioritize racing. I don't know. All right, what do we got here? I miss. Let's cover it, even though this is bad for the race. Should I even do this? Just in case he doesn't get the safety? I don't think I actually should. I think I should just play pure race right now. If he wants to try to find some way to take advantage of that, okay, but I think it's close enough where that could end up mattering more to not have a second check around the ace. I don't know. I really don't know. We will start getting a board ready just in case I get some... Nice contact to the mid. Looks like I'm not going to get that either. I'm going to have to figure out if I have enough in the race after this roll to play this anyway. 20 pips? I don't think so. 13. I don't think I'm getting an extra 7 out of that contact, so I'm just going to let it go. All right. He starts with the best point. We're 4 away, 10 away. Great start, but it's always a long road like this. Not always. <laughs> Often. Can be. I have this sense that, like, more often than not, like, long matches just play out the same as short ones eventually. Uh, I think I really want to make that point. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do like this. Double fives is going to blitz me. A decent structure, so if I fan, can I take this? I don't know. It's a lot of gammons. Uh, I should be finding out. Hmm. I mean, I hope he just rolls. Ten in the zone. I'm down in the race, so he can just escape and do it that way. But I have the five point in front of two checkers back. A foot down for an anchor. This feels really confusing, but I think, I guess I'm not sure for money, so I should probably just pass here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, sorry. I should probably adjust my play <clears throat> since I'm leading four away, nine away, and do one of these splits. I think I'll do that. Yeah, hit from the mid seems standard. And, well, I can make the three point and stay here, or I can just come around and try to race. Uh, it's a good time for fly shots, so I think I'll do it this way, since he's got a blotting board. 
Ooh, makes the instant rack. I would very much like to make my five point here, I think, and start to have some comparing offense. Maybe not that way. I kind of probably wanted a builder out here to try to make the four as well. But I want to catch up on strength. Uh, I feel like that was enough. I want to do that, and now I want to run. And maybe I should have been excited to roll a 6-5 right away last time or something. Um, could be better. I don't know if I have enough race to come out to the bar point there, but it's possible that that's better. I need a 2 to step up and a 2 to build. Ooh, what do I do with this? I think I have to just let go of the midpoint, but now I'm allowing him to slot the back of the prime and giving him a really easy ride to making that. I think it's just too much to offer a way to send a third or a second checker behind the prime. This is interesting. I think I'm still doing okay in this game since he hasn't escaped these and I can still prime them. Like, I just have enough counterplay. Um, three, five, maybe, I mean, eights should lose the market, but I don't mind the cube. It's not completely clear to me what's going on here. I think I just need to pop out, hop the prime while I can. He gets to hit off the back, and I'm in big trouble. I guess I should hit to try to keep him from making a six prime. I don't know if it worked. <laughs> Now I have another checker behind the prime. Not great. He escapes. I really want to do exactly that. Just make the 22. <clears throat> that is the best game I could have hoped for out of this. Okay, I'm down 25 in the race with decent contact. I probably want to step up with an ace to reduce gammons here. If I can, I don't really want to be attacked behind. That's the only way I can lose the extra two points, I think. Um, it's a little more contact, but his board's very good, so I'm kind of scared of playing for it. Nothing's getting too scary here, though. I guess maybe if I make a five-point board, I should be happy or something. I don't know. Mostly just gives him something to do. So, ooh, I really need the ace now to not have to lose my 22 on the next six. Ooh, fives aren't very good either. Okay, we're playing like that. The board's crap. Yeah, I don't even know if he really wants to hit me there. I think he'd probably rather I roll the six in came off or cracked more or something. It's an interesting choice. I mean, I guess this is just to keep me from moving the third checker as a way to win a gammon as well, but I don't know what's easiest there. Uh, I don't see a reason to put a checker on the ace. Do you really have to do this? Yeah, I'd rather do that. I don't think he needs to make the deuce, though. Not really planning on attacking for the most part. Okay, he's getting a little bit awkward for me. And I have just enough room to keep the six prime. Beautiful. I hope to run with one. Yeah. Oof. If he rolls the low numbers, I can get closed out, though. But I don't think I can just crack my board there. Only 10 pips outside, too, right? No, 11. All right, less. That should be almost all the gammons gone. And what is he going to do? He's got options between ripping three or clearing from the rear. I don't know if the gammons are real enough to play for that way. My contact's really good, so I, I would expect he should just play safe, probably. It's tricky, though. Maybe if you take three off, it's tough to lose. Even when you do leave a shot. Ah, you don't even get to take one off is the issue because it leaves you out on the outside. Maybe this is better for that reason, yeah. I'm kind of favoring it now. Hmm. Go for the simple version. I still get to wait for a shot. Six two five two sixes fives fours. There we go. And if I hit it, I win. I, can I recube to four? Because he would send it back to eight. I don't know. I'll have to do some thinking about that if we get there. But I mean, it's like a beyond a money pass, so so it could be. No, 
I guess I won't have to do some thinking. That's weird. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to hit that and have to figure that out. Slowly but surely, he's making up those eight points I started with. So what are we now? Four away, seven away. Kind of a normal match. Still need to adjust my play quite a bit. I think I should do two down, but I could make the five point instead. Um, hmm. Well, I know these two. I think I'm just gonna play like this. I don't know. I'm not certain of this one. Usually the the extra ten and eight is better than the five. Uh, six four can make the four point now, or could try to run. Four point feels better. Six five gets to run. Okay, okay. Could make the three point, but I don't really. Doesn't seem like that big of an improvement. You're ahead in the race, so you're starting to struggle with timing for your back checkers anyway. Yeah. Seems pretty strong here. Make your board, so no reason to invite contact. I just don't see anything else. And I'm ahead in the race after mine, too, so I'm going to go. He's going to make the five points. I'm hoping to escape to a simple game or a hit. That's not bad. Four, three, four, five, one, six. I have some two, five, and one, six to hit. And what do I have to make points? Nothing. How do I want to do this? I, I guess just safe should be fine. Can I make the 10 and eight to four? If I really need to build, then I should play 13 to 9, 10 to 7, probably. Or I could even slot it, but I, I don't think it's that urgent. I think I can just not get hit and win this game. So I think I can play a little bit stiff like this. I really just need to get up to the edge and escape. Oh, yeah, probably that edge is better to make. All right, ace is great. Two not as good. Again, I think I'm just trying to get away with this is my idea. So I don't want to do anything too aggressive with my front checkers. Just want to keep all those safe, not leave a shot, and hope I get lucky enough to run with a six. Real boring game plan. This seems like the fewest shots. Four, three, four, four, one, six. Oh, it's really not that many. I thought it was going to be more. Now all my low numbers are playing kind of better in the front, and my six is run. Certainly could lose his market in some ways, but I think I'm okay to take this one too. Fives is going to attack. Yeah, having the two checkers outside is pretty bad when this turns into an attack this way with the four-point board. So I don't know. Could be overestimating this one. I can definitely lose a lot of gammons here. I think I had enough ways to win the game, though. I'm not really counting on my front position to contain him like it's been doing here, but getting a little extra big out of that, too. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to make another point. Yeah, I think I just need to clean up and not get more checkers back. 3-3 three, three can hit loose or it can switch. I'm guessing keeping the purity is going to be more important since he has a little work to do to escape this. Since my four prime's been doing so much work, ace would buy me a little bit of time. No such luck. Look at this. He can't escape, though. Okay, my prime was great. Clear take. <laughs> I just need to hop in with the six, and I'm doing wonderful. I think he needs to clean up. I don't think he wants another checker back, yeah. Okay. Another try at it. And he gets to step up now and get out with the sixes. Okay, that's a big improvement for him. Who's going to roll the six first? 
Well, he's not cracking more. The four is like the dream. Oh, he hits another checker too. Okay. Now I'm losing a lot of gammons. He could be ahead in the match after this one. Very easily. I think 6-5 leaves a shot. Big sets are going to leave a shot here. I doubt there's any way around it. I guess he could clear the five or something. Seems crazy, though. And that evens out. And so I am quite likely to lose a gammon now. Or hard for him to leave a shot. And I think I have to hit a shot to save the gammon. More or less. So I don't think he needs to peel extra here. I think he can just play safe. If he peels, then I can enter on a three and just wait. And try to get a shot that way. Gives me a little bit extra hope, and I just think he wins a gammon either way. All right, there's the three. Let's punish. No? Oh, bummer. Um, I think like that. Can I save this? Probably need some sets. I think I have to prioritize crossovers, right? Oh, this is confusing. I guess I'll try that way. I really have no idea. It looks like fives are good, though. Okay, I get a crossover. Oh, okay. Makes it easy on everybody. Four-way, three-way. I get to send some trailing cubes. I know these ones pretty well, too. Uh, not a whole lot of them after he makes 20 points. <laughs> I think I should make that blocking offensive point. I could think about anchors right away, though, too. Only way to combat a anchor is an anchor of my own. So I really do need to do something quickly. I want to slot the better point, but I don't have any sixes when I do that. It's looking stiff already. I'll stay here. I'm not sure. The race is okay, so I guess if I run with a six, that could be okay. Oh, he's going to block that. Man, I'm already in a ton of priming trouble. Unless he attacks. Yeah, this feels like the better plan, but I guess I do see that he could make the four and the three, and that would be pretty good as well. Might win more gammons. I think I want to be at the edge. And I think I'm okay. You have the A point now. Man, do I need to cover all these blots and board, though. Okay, this is probably... You almost never send a three-way, four-way at a normal score. Would I take this? I don't think so, right? Looks pretty trash. And so it seems like it should be reasonable to send it. Should I take it to this score? How much How much can I win and how much do I get gammoned? I feel like I just have nothing here and I should just let this go and play four-way, two-way. I don't know. All right. There's no blitzy version here, really, is there? make the four and the deuce. I'd love to do something that finds more gammons. If he doesn't anchor, I could have enough for a cube, but yeah, that should be fine. Start making points. At four-way, two-way, and normal games without gammons like this, which is like a mutual holding game, very few gammons, the cube acts pretty normal. In fact, he might be able to take a little bit deeper in some games. Take point is reduced to 19%, I think. And 17 at 5-way, 2-way. He should be prioritizing. Uh, he's not that much ahead in the race, so I guess probably probably just make the 10, cover the point behind. I don't think you want to give up contact this way, necessarily. Not sure it makes you that much more flexible, either. And so if you're not doing that, once you have the bar point, you really don't need the midpoint as much. You already kind of cover the outfield well. So I think this is a very nice, prevents me from running to a winning race with fives, you know. Does some good things. A little bit of prime value. Gets the board ready for contact later. This play just looks all around very nice. Guess he's got plenty of time on the clock to think about it. All 
right. Position holds. I think he's just ditching some spares behind now. He almost wants to give up one of those points now, it feels like. Doesn't really have time to keep the prime in front of me. It's not strong enough to like run off the 18, I don't think. Uh, five, three. I think we're just gonna play like that. Hmm, I guess there is some weird like make the ace kind of stuff. Um, maybe he's ahead enough to buy some timing this way, but could also just ad advance to the bar or something simple like that. I don't really know. Advance the nine and cover the four and play for some contact. I guess they all look like pretty good options. This looks nice right now, and then I don't know how he's going to follow up. And it gives me a little bit of freedom to build my board. This probably gives the most room in the position for him, so I see some reason to do that. All right, I've got the contact side looking pretty good now. I think he's ahead in the race now to want to move the 14, and then I think the best along with this is probably switching 10 to 7. Yeah, clear some contact that way. I think I can take for a very long time with this six away contact, though he does have three landing points. It's a very nice shot. My race is not great, though. My take point could be slightly uh, high. No, no, no. My take point is just uh, whatever match equity I would have if uh, if I passed a one-way, four-way Crawford, just like 18 or something like that. 18 or 19, I, I can't remember. So I gotta be pretty bad off. I don't think this is gonna be bad enough, but oh, he clears, now it can be. Now it can be very easily. So I might just have to pass to Crawford with uh was it only 13 pips? Nine, 10. Ah, uh, that's probably close enough to take. That's annoying. 10, so I'm three pips past the point of last take. He's got a little bit of wastage. And I get a little bit back with the 20 point, and I have an extra like few percent to play with because of the score. So it feels like it must be super close. Should I just pass it so I get to play more games or something? Isn't that like a logic that people use? Uh, for money, would I... I'd be a little bit confused for money, though I would think it would be a pass. Probably not by much, so that should make it like a fairly clear take, I think. At this score. I think I'm probably just supposed to play this one. Oh, I hate putting it on the line for this, though. Okay, let's go. I want to do something fancy just to get more play out of it. All right. Went from that huge lead to begin with to, like, automatic recubing. How do you like that? Oh, okay. Good and bad news for him here. He's going to lock up the race when I miss. If I miss. Oh, I do miss. Ouch. And I have to go. Okay. We'll see if I get another chance. Otherwise, it's looking like this is going to be someone else's turn to win a match. Which isn't fair at all. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> I don't like sharing. Let's see. I guess I want to come in with a. F I don't know. Probably in with the one and off with the five. But it might not matter either. Okay. Good match to. Did I say Jurgen? I think it's Jurgen. And that should take me to two and one. A little bit faster one this time, too. Um, better luck for me next time, I hope. I feel like I probably played this one better than my last one because I wasn't too confused about the decisions along the way. But I don't know. You never know. Sometimes one sneaks in there and there weren't that many decisions in this match either. So, uh, no, pretty sharp. Cool, I'll take it. I am happy with that. And, okay, we'll be back soon enough with more backgammons. <laughs> Bye for now, everybody.